Hi everyone, and welcome to the Independent Respiratory Services YouTube channel. My name is Andrew, and I am a respiratory therapist. Today we are going to show you how to use a recording pulse oximeter for overnight sleep apnea screening. A pulse oximeter is a device that records your oxygen as well as your heart rate. These devices are provided to you by your sleep clinician. They operate on AA batteries, either rechargeable or non-rechargeable. Start by attaching the black end of the cable to the input of the device. The trapezoid shape will only fit in one way. Follow the pins. The probe itself could be a clip or a rubber boot. If you are given a device with a blue clip, clip it on your finger with the cable on top of the finger. If you are given the gray rubber boot, then slide your finger in it, making sure that the cable will be on top of the finger. We suggest using your index finger, middle, or ring fingers. Whichever finger is most comfortable will work as well. For our comfort, orient the cable to the fingernail side and to the back of your hand. The larger model pulse oximeter with a red display has three vertical buttons. Turn it on by pressing the on button marked with an eye. The smaller model with a black display has a larger central on and off button under the display. The LED light on the top of the button will start flashing as it seeks for a signal. For a good signal, you will see a green light here. Eventually, the display should show your oxygen saturation on the left and your heart rate on the right. If you have problems getting a good signal or a steady reading, try changing the finger, try the other hand, or warm up your finger tip beforehand. Once you got a good signal, secure the probe on your finger with the Velcro, making sure it allows for adequate blood flow. Secure the cable to the back of your hand with a piece of tape or band-aid. Place the device on a night table or tuck it in on the side of your pillow. Keep it on for the whole night or the time you are in bed. For bathroom breaks, you could either take the device with you or disconnect the cable from the device and reconnect it again when you're back. In the morning, press the button marked zero to turn it off for the larger model. And for the smaller model, hold down the large button until the numbers disappear. The test is usually done for two nights. Place the oximeter in the bag and arrange to return it back to your office as agreed. Independent respiratory services will send the report to your referring specialist, physician, or other healthcare practitioners. For any questions, please contact your local independent respiratory services office. And for more information about this video, please see the below description.